Hello again, students. Teacher Cam here, somewhere in space. I've now landed and I'm on a planet somewhere. Right, let's get started. We're on Unit 2, Lesson 6 today. And you will need your activity book. So, if you can open your activity books to this page, please. Listen and tick the words that you hear. So these words here, house, garden, tennis, football, sandwiches, cakes, fishing. If you hear the word, you put a tick in the box. If you don't hear one of this word, or this word, or this word, then no tick in the box. Okay. Okay, listen and tick in the box. Listening 1.21. Listen and tick the words you hear. Can you tell me about your grandparents, Jasmine? Okay. Well, they live in London. London? Yes. I usually visit them in the summer. They've got an old house and a big garden. Do you play in the garden? Yes, I do. What do your grandparents like doing? Have they got any hobbies? Yes, they have. Grandma likes playing tennis. Tennis? Yes, and she loves cooking. Cooking's her favourite hobby. She likes making cakes, and sometimes I help her. Chocolate cake is my favourite. What about your grandpa? He can't cook. His favourite hobby is fishing. He usually goes fishing at the weekends. Do you go fishing with him? Yes, sometimes. It's fun. OK, so you should have ticked and heard the words house, garden, tennis, cakes and fishing, but we didn't hear the word football or sandwiches, so there should be no tick in this box. Now we're going to listen again. But this time, you're going to circle the A or the B here. You can use a colour pencil to do this if you have one. Let's look at the questions first, shall we? Where do Jasmine grandparents live? Do they live in Scotland or do they live in London? You circle the correct answer. When does Jasmine usually visit her grandparents? Is that in the summer or in the winter? What? Is her grandparents' house like? Is it a big house or it's a cold house? What is her grandparents' favorite hobby? Is that playing tennis or is it cooking? Her favorite, that means what hobby does she like most? What does Jasmine help her grandma with? Does she help with making cakes or does she help with making pizza? Okay. And what does her grandpa usually do at the weekends? Does he go fishing or does he make cakes? Ready? 
Let's go. Listening 1.21. Listen and tick the words you hear. Can you tell me about your grandparents, Jasmine? OK. Well, they live in London. Where do Jasmine's grandparents live? They live in London. So, you can circle this. Or you just circle the B, that's OK. All right, now let's listen and try to answer this one here. London? Yes. I usually visit them in the summer. They've got an old house. She usually visits them in the summer. What's, what is her grandparents' house like? House and a big garden. Do you play in the garden? Yes, I do. What do your grandparents like doing? Have they got any hobbies? Yes, they have. Grandma. So, I think that was... Yes, it's an old house. What is her grandma's favourite hobby? Is it playing tennis or is it cooking? Ma likes playing tennis. Tennis? Yes. And she loves cooking. Cooking's her favourite hobby. Did you hear that? Cooking is her grandma's favourite hobby. There, cooking. She likes playing tennis, but her favourite hobby is cooking. Right, two more. What does Jasmine help her grandma with? Let's listen. She likes making cakes, and sometimes I help her. Chocolate cake is my favourite. So, she likes making cakes, and I sometimes help her. So, it's making cakes. What does her grandpa usually do at the weekends? What about your grandpa? He can't cook. His favourite hobby is fishing. He usually goes... His favourite hobby is fishing. He goes fishing. Goes fishing at the weekends. Do you go fishing with him? Yes, sometimes. It's fun. So, students, check that you have the correct answers like this. Okay. What time do you go to school? Answer could be, I go to school at eight o'clock or I go to school at half past seven, something like that. Okay, I go to school at half past eight. What time does your dad get up? He gets up at six o'clock. So what you could do now, students, is you can write about your friend. So you talk to your friend and you ask them questions like this, okay? So you can write here, I found out about, and here you write the nickname of your friend and his, well that could be about his mum, or his dad, okay? Or grandma, grandpa, okay? And your friend's name, apostrophe S, my friend's dad or mum goes to work at what time? 
goes here. Okay. And then you can start here by saying something like, he has lunch at 12 o'clock. Or if it's mum, she has lunch at 12 o'clock. She finishes work at five o'clock. She gets home at six o'clock. Something like that, okay? Try to make some sentences here about your friend and his mum, dad, grandma or grandpa, okay? If you can do this. If you can't do it, if it's too difficult, don't worry. We'll do this together. We'll take a look at this together when you're back in school. Okay. So that's all for this lesson. Yeah, that's all for lesson six. So just a quick lesson, okay? See you again soon with lesson seven, okay? Bye-bye.